What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and we are on the Light account. Once again, we need to do more PvE, we need to get some stats, some records for each one of these Flame Shrine bosses for our Russells, to see how they really are performing. So this time, we do have a Kamath. Like always, we're gonna have to go strip gear off of like our entire team. <laughs> Just get rid of on everybody that has that six star gear because we need it for our Russell. Anybody else have anything? I know I need those artifacts though. Um, that one, because a ghost seems a little, little not necessary. Um, we're gonna grab the antlers cane as always and. Do I have the Punisher? Yeah, we'll use the Punisher as well, just for some extra damage. I think we can get away with using two Russells, although I'm not 100% sure, honestly. We're going to have to see how that works out. The first one, of course, this is our powerhouse Russell. This is the one that does all the damage in the world. Our favorite. <laughs> so we need to swap over to that Holy Damage Stone. And this one right here is going to be... I don't know. Should I put him in the back row? I mean, he does fly up in the air. It is Kamet, though, so that's a lot of CC coming in. If we put Belrain, like maybe a speedy Belrain in the front row with our Heart Watcher, that could work pretty well. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we will do that. So our, our before we do anything, 1554 seems like the baseline for what we need to beat on that bell rain uh so we will definitely get that going oh wait a minute hold on oh we did have enough cool so we can use the better item right there that looks good that looks good and let's just swap it back to this stone we don't have the optimal one just yet sadly but uh we are going to try both russells in the back row front row would probably be safer but i actually want to use my Bell Rain and my Heart Watcher in the front row with Demon Bells, our two glittery Demon Bells, to see how that works out. So, 1554 is what we need to beat. So, yeah, you're going to need some speed here. <laughs> actually, I don't know if she can actually outspeed them. 1554? Ooh, yeah, that's not going to work. Nope. Not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's get this going of course we can uh we can increase our attack which will increase our overall healing right here as well uh this one doesn't really matter so we'll just stick with what it is because we just need to heal that back row essentially <sighs> that's the one downside so we don't have the gear to throw on her so what we're gonna have to do is steal gear here i mean i guess you know I guess we could run a speed artifact on her as well. But is that even going to be enough? Let's take a look. Uh, no, we want Augustus Magic Ball. Where's Augustus Magic Ball at? Where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I know it's on somebody here. Augustus Magic Ball. There it is. All right. Throw it on her since it does have that plus attack as well. There we go. 1554. Okay. So actually, we can do this now. So 1558 versus the 1554. Of course, once she uses her active. Yeah, once she uses her active, it kind of messes it up anyway. If she doesn't hit herself, they're going to go before her. So we'll just stick with this. We'll, we'll go with this setup instead. Use the glittery demon bell, of course. Then we do need our Drake in the back row. I think we are going to use a crown on him. And honestly... We're not here for the attack damage. Let's give him more HP. He doesn't have another stone, so we're just going to have to leave it at that. And then we are going to build him super duper tanky. We don't even care if he goes first or anything because, you know, we get we get it built in passive. We're going to go full heal mode just to make sure he doesn't die for any reason against the Camus. So I like how that looks. That looks good. The crown will help quite a bit. And then, of course, we need our Heart Watcher set up demon bell that works doesn't really matter what gear she has on but we'll just do that anyway demon bell is going to be amazing and then of course last but not least our sacrificial death sworn on the front row so i think we are all set i think are we all set looks all set that's good that's good that's good stone that's good stone all right let's jump into it let's go let's do it where are we going there there there, there, there. there. all right so Front row, we are going to put... There we go. 
two support heroes. And then we are going to have our Death Sworn, which we need to feed that one off anyway. All we need is a four star. Then of course you, actually we're gonna put you guys about here. And then we're gonna put slot three Russell as the big damage dealer. And then the secondary slot is going to be the lower damage one. We got the Phoenix, it looks good. Let's jump into it. Hopefully we don't get CC'd too much. Be really interesting to see what type of damage we do, especially with those glittery items now. See right here, it's a little rough. It's a little rough. We already have a, one of our Russells completely CC'd off. The one advantage is when they use their active at least, they will not be CC'able. That's a nice little bonus. We're already getting CC'd pretty hard, but we need at least one of them in the back row, if not both. To make this work optimally oh no we don't have our damage numbers short and i just realized that how did i only just realize that very doing very things on a brand new berry setup <laughs> all right we'll have to deal with it for now so this is going to work out good because both heart watcher and bell rain are going to have their actives after the russells use theirs so watch their energy bars go up after this right here yeah, we're definitely going to have to shorten those numbers. But right here, watch Russell's energy bars just shoot up. Oh, yeah. Look at that energy. One of them's already over half. So it basically it basically means we get more actives because they're, <laughs> they just keep getting so much free energy. Plus, they're in the back row, and they're constantly being hit by actives. So that's really, really good. Yeah, Bell Rain is keeping that Drake up. Drake just dodged every single one of those attacks. And then right here... No way to get CC'd. They just have CC reduction. No no way to get CC'd. And then Drake just dodges every single attack. Ooh, that was a big hit right there. And because we only hit the front target, it really doesn't matter if the other two have debuffs or anything along those lines. So we're pretty good. The Bell Rain is doing a solid job keeping this whole team up. A Sigma is not really needed on a team like this. A Death Sworn does just fine because, yes, we do hit the other two targets with the actives, but it's not really any of our damage. We don't really care about that. This little armor break shield right here is the most important thing in the world. So, sadly, it looks like we're going to miss round 15 with the second Russell because he's going to be flying in the air doing no damage, which is a little rough. It's, it's sad when it ends up lining up like that, but... You know, it is what it is. So that's going to be the last one. 82 or 8.2 billion. 82 billion? 8.2? I think that was 8.2. We really need to shorten these numbers up. <laughs> we really do. My goodness, guys. 16 billion. This is pretty much scary level damage numbers, right? I mean, this is what we were pulling was scary. So that's, that's a little crazy here. So let's uh, change this around. I don't know why those are up anyway. Damage display, there we go, all right. Let's jump back into it, round two. So what do we do? We did 15-ish, somewhere in there. Where are we on the list? 16.8. Not too bad, we should be able to compete up the top without using our scary army. I think it'll happen. We definitely can do more damage than what we just did with a little bit more RNG luck without being CC'd, so yeah. Already broke out of one there, perfect. And with only five targets, we almost guarantee that both of our Russells get hit with the Phoenix active. Of course, there's always a chance to not get the Phoenix buff every single time. But so far, so good. So right here, normally we would not be having an active next round. But because both Bell Rain and Heart Watcher have energy, our Russells are going to max out their energy right here. So this is going to be really, really nice. And there we go. Max energy. There we go. We got actives. Um, hope, hopefully that means we do more damage. Glittery Demon Bells are going to start to get disgusting in PvE. Once we can get our third one and throw it on that Drake in the back line, that's going to make some big waves. And then down the line, we could potentially make a slightly stronger Death Sworn or just put a Demon Bell on him as well just to get some extra active energy. You never know. This round, once again, essentially having this Bell Rain and Heart Watcher means every other round we are getting actives on our Russells on the back row, which is absolutely insane. I know I keep saying it, but it really is insane. Every single even round we are having actives on our Russells. 
th that has to translate into just a ton of damage. 59 million ping in at round 9, and then 19 million. What a difference. What a difference. <laughs> All right, so right here. They both get their actives off. Luckily, they've both been purifying all of their uh, their CC, all their petrifies. And right here, Bellrain and Heart Watcher are going to top us off once again. This is amazing. Honestly, I wish we had a Gurk already because I would put a Gurk in over our Bellrain any day of the week to increase the amount of... Uh, oh my god, 1.4 almost? 1.4 billion on that active. Ho oh. ho! My goodness, but I would put a Gurk over Bellrain any day of the week. And you can really see what artifact is better for, for Russell. Definitely Antler's Cane. A glittery Antler's Cane is just crazy, crazy strong. 74 million. So it looks like we're going to have both of our Russells line up with an active to release on round 15, which is going to be very, very strong. Very, very strong. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to get one more Phoenix buff. Guys, I think we might break like 20 million here. Or 20 billion. I think we might actually get to like scary damage levels here. It's, it's so pitiful what the scaries have turned into. They've been fools now. They are such old school PvE heroes. But let's see what these final damage numbers are. 25 billion with no faction advantage. These aren't Garudas. These are Russell. This Russell right here did 18 billion damage by himself. Honestly, guys, if this Russell sat out and we threw in someone like, uh, I don't know, Gurk on top of everything else, my goodness, I think one Russell could easily break 20 billion damage. All right, we're going to do two more. We're just going to skip through them and see what the final damage numbers are. If See if we break any other records. That was about 16. Okay. That was like the everything lined up. The actives lined up perfectly. It was amazing. 20 billion. That's just crazy. Look how much more damage the Antlers Cane one is doing than the Crit Punisher stat. We're going to have to get that Antlers Cane upgraded. Because we just easily took our top spot in our guild 80 billion this is pretty much what i was doing with four scaries this is ridiculous guys ridiculous ridiculous i can't say it enough this hero right here holy damage attack attack with a glittery antlers cane just absolutely busted so much damage 25 billion wow all right that's all i gotta say i can't i gotta i gotta go edit this and get this out to you guys for later on so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you guys next time with more crazy damage numbers